Hello friends, so welcome to our channel. So now we are going to see one so code data practice question. So that is so Lexi string. So little g jumbled up the order of the letters in our dictionary. Now Jock uses this list to find the smallest lexicographical string that can be made out of this new order. So can you help him? So you are given a string P that denotes the new order of letters in the English dictionary. You need to print the smallest say, lexicographic string made from the given string yes. So that means the problem is this is the string so that means so these are the alphabets. So that was jumbled. So normally the alphabets are A, B, C, D like this J. But the order is jumbled. So this is the P. You need to print the smallest lexicographic string made from the given string. Yes. So this is the string. Yes. So lexicographic means so you can identify that. So what is the first letter in this dictionary? P. If P is in S, then you are going to print that P. If O is in S, then you are going to print the O. If L is in S, now we are going to print the L like that. So that we are called as a lexicographic string. So now so we can discuss this with one example. So this is the example. So two means number of test cases. So how many test cases we are going to find S for P. So next we are going to give the two test cases. So, so this is the one P1. So this is the S1. Another test case P2, S2. So that, uh, this is the jumbled order of all the alphabets A to Z and this is the yes. Now we are going to find the so lexicographic string. So A, B, C, D this is the output. B, D, C is the lexicographic string. Similarly, so this is the second test case. So this is the jumbled order of alphabets in the dictionary. This is the string S2. Now the lexicographic to the S is code bit. So now we can see how we can get these outputs with the help of the program. So for I in range of input, that means this is the test case. So here the input is 2. That means we are going to execute this block 2 times. Okay. So P equals to input. This is the P. Now, so this is the P. S equals to input. That means, so this is the yes, this is the yes. So I am taking Q to store the so lexicographic string. So by default it is empty string. So this is the Q. Okay. For J in P. So J in P means the J is equals to P. So all are small letters. Next, if J in, so that means P in S. Yes. So what is the S? A, B, C, D. So P is in S? No. So go to next one. That means P, no. So O in S? No. Go to next one. L. L in S? No. Next go, next go to I. I in S? No. K in S? No. U in S? No. J in S? No. So like that we are going to here. Here. This is so B in S, yes. So Q equals to, you forgot this part, Q equals to Q plus J. So that means Q equals to MT. MT plus J, what is the J? B. Next, B not in S, F not in S, R not in S, E not in S. So D is in S. So Q equals to Q plus. That means B, D. Next, C. Next, C. C is also in S. So, B, D, C. Next, X is not in S. S is not in S. W is not in S. Q is not in S. A is in S. So, Q plus A. That means A. So, this is the B, D, C, A. B, D, C, A. So, this is the lexicographic string for this string S based on this order. So, now we can see the second test case. 
after completion of this next p is this is the p so this is the p and this is the yes q is in s no w is in s no r is in s no so y is in s no u is in s no p is in s no c is in this so q equals to c next s yes is in no f no o yes o is in this yes so o same like that here d is in s e is in s v i t yes so this is the so lexicograph string for this string yes it's code beta now you can print code beta so that's it now what is this so yes dot count of j for example in this i am giving the input a b b c d then what is the expected output without knowing this a b b c d that means if the b is one type we are print only one type if it is two types b b d c a so that means if a character is more than one time then we can append how many times it appears in the s yes, those many times we are going to append that to the q so how we can know that so j reputation operator so what is the j for example b into s yes dot count of j so the j is b so count of b means this is the s yes. count of b means how many times b two times so b into two means b b so b b is appended to sorry b b is appended to q so, okay we can discuss with one example small example a a b c c t so what is the output as per this so b d c two times a two times this is the output i hope you all are understand so lexis tree program so now we are going to see the execution of the program okay bdca code beta if we give two bs what is the expected output it returns bb dca bb dca 